What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do server logs without coding. So if you're new to this channel, Scratch for Discord is a way to make a Discord bot without actual coding. So and it's really easy to create a bot. So if you want to get started, make sure to watch the first two videos and you can watch the rest to learn how to become a pro at scratch for discord coding so make sure your preview is set to 454 and press enter and click apply changes and go to your home screen and click open scratch so you can go to joe's category and then there's new things over here so there's discord giveaways so you can actually create a giveaway that's really cool and discord backup you can backup a server and load backup so you can make backup commands and also youtube notifier which is really cool too you can add channel id and then put a channel id and then when a new video is published you can announce something or send something somewhere and if you go to in events we're going to be focusing on these so there's three categories inside events channel member and guild there's also a new image generation it, it just came out like yesterday so in the image generation is also going to be a future tutorial so there are three categories so i'm just going to do it one by one from top to bottom channel permissions update when a channel permissions is changed just scroll down to channels and click send and say you can in here you can have an embed i would recommend an embed you would have to just go to embed create new embed and uh inside that inside that block you put all of these things the color author there are also these name of old channel and old permission so you can just do create text with title could be when uh, channel permissions change so the title would be channel permissions updated this can be the id over the channel in the description you would put this old permission to new permission so the people the staff would know what got changed to what and in the channel you would have to get the channel so get the channel with the name or id the id would be if you go to your server you can right click and click copy id and then you would put the id in there or you can just put general or whatever the uh, channel name would be but it's usually like logs or something people usually make it like um server dash logs or logs over here is basically the same thing but instead of permission it's topic i don't even know what a topic of a channel is actually so i'm gonna go over to member yeah, and member abuse this is a this is a really cool one a, a lot of people have recommended it now, uh, most people were thinking it's actually not even possible this was actually a recent update in discord js discord.js so like recently discord made it so that bots can have this event so when a member boost server you can do i'm just gonna duplicate that but instead of these you can put the content can be thanks member for boosting the server and member is just say tagging the member i'm mentioning the member i mean and these are the name or tag of member i would just put thanks member for boosting the server and member unboost you can also put something like uh, member unboosted the server with like a side face or something i don't know member role add when a role is added to a member or roles the member is the member that is getting the roles added to them not the member that's adding them the author can be the member it's like the profile picture of the author can be the member and you can just say member name of member got the roles name of role and this can be any uh thing of the role you can have all the all of the info so deleted position color hex color mentionable hoisted i don't know what hoisted is id and of course name same thing with member role remove boost level up is if the if you don't know in discord if you can boost a server and if you boost a server two times then it goes to level one and if you boost it two more times it goes to level two etc wait actually you need more so two boosts is level one seven boosts is level two and 14 boosts is level three and also keep in mind these level ups level downs i would recommend making it in another channel not just logs so maybe in a boost and joins channel and over here you could put name 
or id of guild guild means server and old or new boost level same thing with guild boost level down guild banner add if is if they have a banner over here so this is actually level two or three boosts i think the banner url is just the banner you would put this in image or thumbnail vanity url is a custom url for the server so if you go in here for example the official s4d server is discord.gg slash s4d and then if you press join server it would join the server i'm already in it and that's also level three boost vanity url is just the url that that's being added or the custom url and of course name and id of guild and pretty much the same thing in vanity url remove and update update is a little different it's just the old vanity url versus the new vanity url and that's actually it this, this was actually a pretty short video i hope you enjoyed the video i will probably do image generation either image generation or one of these youtube notifier discord backup and giveaways I will most likely do image generation next, but I might do one of these three if you guys want it. So if you have any suggestions for the next video, image generation, YouTube notifier, Discord backup, or Discord giveaways, make sure to comment down below. And also make sure to join my Discord server. You can get any help if you're having any errors. Just chat with us or self-promote your bot. And we actually have about 100 members now. We have to upgrade our goal to... Uh, all members 101. I know it's counting bots. So people we actually have 83. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you next time.